Now attend a vicious attack on four deputy constables and tonight we're learning brothers and sisters in blue saving one of their own. Also tonight we have new images of the deputy constables in the hospital. Look at this. Investigators say that they were serving an eviction yesterday when a man charged at them with a makeshift weapon. Kent's 5 reporter Hannah Tita is following these developments for us. So Hannah, first off, how are the deputies doing tonight? Well, Henry, I'm told two deputy constables have now been released from the hospital. Two others suffered minor injuries. Today, the Precinct 2 constable took time away from her family on a holiday to speak with us about her work family and the dangers they often face. That's, of course, my biggest fear. It's a call that made Constable Leticia Vasquez's heart drop. That's the emotional part. You know, that, that's my job to make sure that they go home to their family. Four deputy constables injured in the line of duty. Two of them rushed to the hospital. He knows his apartment better. You know, they, he had the upper hand. The deputies were serving an eviction warrant at an Auburn Creek apartment yesterday. A tenant had barricaded himself inside. After trying to negotiate, Constable Vasquez says her deputies went in. The first team with the shield went to the left and my other second team went to the right and that's where he was waiting in the dark. The 58 year old tenant allegedly had a makeshift weapon that looked like a club with a blade. We're told he started swinging at deputies. I guess one had the weapon out and that's where he sliced his arm. Right through a major artery. He would have bled out in two minutes. But just weeks ago, Precinct 2 had joined a training class. Guess what saved my officer's life? That class and them knowing how to use that tourniquet. Constable Vasquez says they are constantly training. Deputies check to see if the people they're evicting have outstanding warrants, weapons, or dogs. Well, you know, we do 80 to 90 evictions a week. And the constable is proud of how her team works to keep each other and the public safe. Nowadays, as things have gotten just so bad. Mental state, uh, financial situations, crime. This is like the perfect storm brewing all the time. And the deputies were able to arrest the suspect without using deadly force. We're told that he will be facing several charges, including assault on a peace officer. The 58 year old has not been identified yet. Live on the Northwest Side tonight, Hannah Tita, Ken's Five.